Hi everybody, um, welcome to Friday Storytime with me, Miss Jody. Um, this week we are getting ready to enter the season of Lent. And Lent is our 40 days and 40 nights of getting ready time, we're getting ready for Easter and for Jesus to be crucified and then resurrected. Lent is a very special time. It, it seems long, 40 days and 40 nights. One of the things, the, the reason why I chose to be here today is when, when you come to church on Lent or you watch us on, um, on the YouTube channel, um, you won't see many flowers or much color or you won't see um, many arrangements. A lot of times our altar guild just does greenery in the church. Um, and so Lent, this plant reminds me that um, in Lent, we just see a lot of green. We don't see a whole lot of color. Anyway, our book today is Make Room, A Child's Guide to Lent and Easter by Laura Alari, illustrated by Anne Boyagian. And it is a book all about Lent, the different um, customs that we keep, the different things that we do, and why we do them. So here we go. I hope you enjoy it. The outside world has its own seasons and its own colors. These days, we are in the gray time between winter and spring. Some mornings, the puddles are frozen hard and bare branches of trees scrape a snow white sky. Other days, the air is warmer, ice is melting, and the air smells faintly da of damp earth and rotting leaves. Under the ground, seeds and bulbs are sleeping, dreaming of shades of green. We are all waiting for spring. In church, we are waiting too waiting for Easter. While we wait, we get ready. Making time. Long ago, Jesus went out alone into the desert to get ready. Deep inside, he felt that God had important work for him to do, but he needed help to see clearly the way ahead. For 40 days and 40 nights, he was in the desert by himself, wondering, talking with God, listening, making choices. I wonder why Jesus went into the desert. Maybe it was quiet and still. Maybe Jesus thought he could hear God better there. Maybe he needed to make time to listen so he would know which way to go. During Lent, we make time to be with God. Every day we talk and with God in different ways. Sometimes we pray with words. Sometimes we listen to music. Sometimes we get out our paints and crayons and create many colored prayers. Colors are like a different language. We can all speak even when we have no words. God understands. At other times, we make silence. We turn off the television and the music, stop talking for a while, and we practice listening, and sometimes we read stories from the Bible, and we wonder about what God might be telling us. Sometimes we just sit and rest in the quiet. During Lent, we pay attention to how we live. We think about the choices we make every day. We ask hard questions. Does what we say or do make the world a better place or not? Does what we live make does how we live make God happy or sad? Is there anything we need to change? Lent lasts for 40 days and 40 nights plus six Sundays. We count the days by snuffing out the purple candles, one for each week. 40 days is a long time, but it takes time to get ready. Making space. After Jesus came back from the desert, he left everything behind, trusting God to give him what he needed. He began to travel from place to place, telling everyone who would listen about God and his kingdom. The kingdom of God is the world, the way God imagined it in the very beginning, the way God wants it to be. Many people came to hear Jesus. They were full of questions. What is the kingdom of God? Where is it? How do we get there? Jesus told them, the kingdom of God is like a tiny mustard seed that grows into a huge plant, so big and strong that birds can build nests in it. The kingdom of God is like a pinch of yeast stirred into a big mixing bowl of flour. It is only a speck, but it makes a big batch of dough rise. The kingdom of God is inside of you, but it needs time and space to grow. This is how to make space. If you've done something wrong, tell God you are sorry. Sweep your heart clean and start fresh. Be kind to all people, not just the ones who like you. 
open your heart wide. If someone hurts you, ask God to forgive, to help you forgive. Do not store up any angry thoughts. Let them go. Make space inside for better things. Share so that everyone has enough. If you have two coats, give one to someone who has none. Why clutter up your life with more than you can use? Make space for what really matters. One day, when Jesus wanted to learn to talk with God, Jesus taught them how to pray this way. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. When we pray for the kingdom of God to come, we are telling God what we hope for. We hope that people everywhere will listen for God live the way God wants, and make space for what really matters. Imagine, during Lent, we make space. We clean our whole house. We sort our clothes and our toys and our books and give away what we do not use. It is hard at first. I like my things and I want to keep them all. But someone else might need them more than I do. Besides, I like having space in my room. It makes me feel lighter. During Lent, we think about the kingdom of God. We plant seeds and wait for them to sprout. We mix yeast into water and flour and watch the dough rise. And when the dough has risen, we roll and twist it to make pretzels. They look like little arms crossed in prayer. At supper, we cross our arms this way and pray that the kingdom of God will come. I wonder how this will happen. Maybe the kingdom of God starts very small, but grows bigger and bigger. So slow, we hardly notice it. Maybe the kingdom of God happens right around us. Maybe it's happening right now. During Lent, we make our lives more simple. We eat plain meals, sometimes just bread and soup, and everyone helps with the cooking. We even give up buying some of our favorite treats and snacks. Instead, we put the money in the jar and save it. When Lent is over, we will buy groceries for the food bank. Making do with less means that someone else can have enough, and that seems fair. I like having nice things. I like to buy treats, and I like to eat my favorite foods, but not all the time. There are times for filling up and times for emptying out. Lent is a time for emptying, for sharing, for giving away. It is good to make space. Making room. Whenever Jesus Wherever Jesus went, people wanted to be near him. Some people were sick and hoped Jesus could make them better. Some had questions and hoped Jesus could give them answers. Some felt dirty because they had done bad things. They hoped Jesus could make them clean. Some were hungry and wanted food. Some were lonely and wanted company. Some were angry at the unfairness of the world and hoped Jesus could set things right. So many people needed so many things. Sometimes Jesus got very tired but he never turned anyone away. His friends worried about him, and they tried to help him rest. They shooed away the children, and they tried to send the crowds home. But Jesus said, let them come. Everyone is welcome. The kingdom of God is like a great feast. All kinds of people will come to it from every place and time. Some people did not like the way Jesus made room. Look at him, they said. He chooses the wrong friends. He should know better. He cannot be a good man if he spends time with bad people. But Jesus kept inviting people in. Though what he said and what he did sent this message. We can always make our circle bigger. There is room for all around God's table. During Lent, we make room. We invite a neighbor to our house to share our soup. We make cards and decorate them. We send them to people who are sad. Or sick or alone. We try hard to see people the way Jesus saw them. After church on Sunday when we have juice and cookies, lots of friends stand together in tight little circles, and a few strangers stand alone by the wall. I wonder how we can make room for them. Maybe I can start by smiling and saying hello. I think Jesus would like that. Well, I hope that reminded you about a few things that um, are good to remember during this time of Lent. Wednesday was Ash Wednesday, um, and if you would have come to church, you would have got 
the ashes on your forehead, and we just said special prayers that day. Um, and so Lent has started. So it's really good to remind ourselves the different things we can do in Lent to help ourselves stay closer to God. One of the things that I was just reminded about was um, we have a Lenten family activity. If you have not received that in your email or you haven't come to church to get it, just shoot us an email at childrensministries at gracesc.org and we'll get you one of those um, uh, children's um, and family activities for Lent. Also, if you are a Facebook or Instagram friend of ours, it's Grace, G-R-A-C-E, the number four, and then children, all lowercase. You'll find us there, and we will have daily posts that go along with our family Lenten activity. Anyway, I uh, hope you have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.